Watson Lake in a great place. It's a bed and breakfast. You can stay there. You can also eat there with us is Peter Gebauer. He is a co-owner along with his wife, Amy. Great to have you back, Peter. Thank you. No, thank you for having us on the show. We appreciate it. <laughs> right. Um, we're well, it, right in. you are. Well, bed and breakfast. The breakfast part is pretty important in that. I know you showed us our cold, your cold breakfast is last time with your muesli or whatever, but you have hot breakfast. So tell me about, let's we see what you do for hot breakfast. As well. That's, uh, that's right. right. And today we do one of our, our many varieties of uh, French toast. And oh. the way we got it going is we got egg and egg, uh -huh. egg and milk. Uh, now that looks uh, like royal. whole wheat or something bread. Right, that's a uh, multi-grain bread. Ah, okay. and there's a little bit of cinnamon in there, a little bit of sugar in there. We soak that in here, and then we're gonna get that uh, in the pan, and we sear it off. Okay. Oh, it's starting oh, to sizzle a little, a little bit. bit. Put a little bit more, f yeah. more butter in it. So you get a crust on this. You leave it in for that egg to, oh, you got a little crust going there too. That's right, that's right. Okay, and, uh, get them all crisp up. Ah, that's oh. beautiful. Get a light brown, and then when it's done, I got a little bit prepared here. Oh my, that's beautiful. And uh, it goes together with uh, patty pan squash filled uh, sausages. Okay, the sausages I made, oh that's charming. Uh, I made uh, with a little bit of maple syrup and... Uh, now that almost looks like hollandaise sauce, but it's not, obviously. No, it's not. This is mango puree. Oh. Pure and simple mango puree. Oh, right? delicious. And then we'll put that all over the French toast. So kind of a fruity like French toast then. Uh, yes, that's a different spin. And then okay. we made some mas mascarpone. We do a lot of cheese uh, at the inn. So we made oh, some mascarpone. Delicious. We thinned it out a little bit. So yeah, cheese is a big richness. focus over at uh, Watson Lake Inn, isn't it? Uh, yes, we do classes as well ah. for the cheese. So we make quark, we make uh, ricotta. And actually, I will show you ricotta in a minute. Okay. And then we put some blueberries, blueberries. on here. Oh, my gosh. And uh, this is going to get you going all the way to dinner. Oh, that looks And then looks you can come back and have fabulous. dinner with us. What, do you have a name for this uh, French toast? Uh, this is, uh, uh, no, this is nope. my multi Mango sauce breakfast. and blueberries. Okay, that's so that's right. one of the hot breakfasts. Uh, no. <laughs> that's one of your hot breakfasts, yeah. but you have another one, and this has to do with rice. What's this other hot breakfast that you have, Peter? When we do breakfast, we always do a couple of baked items, our signature biscuits, oh, five right items Oh, right over here. Only. Uh, okay. You know, you gotta go and try that. Let me, let me oh. know. Oh, let me sure, know sure. You're gonna go and try one of these. Okay. With some of our own plum chum. Okay. If you would, please go ahead. Oh, okay. So I put this on here. And let's just see this. What right. kind of plum jam? And then enjoy it. Oh, that is so good. It's like there's a tartness to it, Peter. There's never anything left, you know, mm. uh, the mm. biscuits. Oh, no, those no are going to go down crazy. Make, you know, there's <laughs> never anything left. Okay. So, a couple of baked items we do all the time. But seasonal fruit we do all the time. Mm -hmm. you know? And then uh, afterwards is cereal. You know? Last time we showed a cold cereal, which is the muesli, which we now we're shipping out of the state, you know, which oh, uh, guests, okay. guests stay with us. They ask an oatmeal us, based. And then, we, and then okay. we send it to them. Yeah. All right. Uh, so it comes with instructions. And uh, then what Today is I made a hot cereal, which is yeah, rice porridge. Rice which is, porridge? Uh, I've never uh, had rice porridge. Different. Right. Right. And okay. We had uh, guests staying last week, mm -hmm. and uh, they were on a gluten-free diet, you know, and uh, I figured... That's how that works. I talked to them, and I talked them into it, and I basically I, I fe I featured uh, it two ways. One with the savory toppings, which we have here. Okay. Uh, but you also can do it and put a twist around it, and we make uh, sweet toppings. Okay, okay, so now let me tell you, let me ask you this. Now, what do you call it, porridge, and how do you how do you do your rice? This is just there? rice, you know, the, the rice to water ratio is different. Okay. You cook it, you cook it for, for two, three hours. Okay. You know, you're going to serve it piping hot. It goes in the bowl. So you cook this for two hours. That's a long time for yeah. rice. And it has uh, one part rice and six parts water. So it kind and of there's nothing else in there, just a pinch of salt. Okay. And then we come to the toppings. We have mm -hmm. fried potatoes, we have uh, sugar cured ham, we have kimchi, what we made on property. Mm -hmm. We have scallions, we have uh, fried salmon skin, we got uh, fried corn, wow. and then we got a mixture of uh, seaweed and uh, oh, look at that. sesame okay. seeds. Oh, interesting. Right? This is. So this then you just. That is interesting. Tap it. Wow. Okay. Think, okay. Tell uh, me that I, again. I what think, is I that again? Have have salmon the skin? You, you, right. Oh, right. my goodness. Salmon skin. Okay. You're going to have to have the everything treatment here. Oh, my. Right. And this then is what all you have to do is mix it up real well. And this is savory. 
This okay. is all savory right there. Now, if you had sweet, what would you be putting in the sweet, Peter? Dried fruit and nuts. Oh, okay. Uh, dried fruit and nuts, brown sugar, mm -hmm. uh, honey. Now, look at that. Now you got to mix it up real good. Okay, so we mix, mix it up this good. up. Oh, my. Oh, that is, ooh, it smells really good. And if you need a really little bit of good. salty flavor, then just put some um, This is kind of salty. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Oh, soy my sauce. gosh. Okay, you also have fudge, and what is this over here with the bacon? Tell us what that is. Well, um, as some of you probably know, uh, we do a lot of, we make our cheese, so I put some ricotta salada there. Oh. And then uh, we also started curing our uh, meats. Wow, that's Which is uh, uh, cured uh, pork belly. Ah. And this is type of like an appetizer for one of our tapas or for one of our dinners. Okay. Right, so the combination of ricotta salada and then cured meats, we got a little bit of cracked pepper and then drizzled with a little bit of honey, you know, and you eat Beautiful. that with a crusty bread, a glass of wine. And, and also fudge. Hey, the Watson Lake Inn, a delicious place to go. Hey, and the first person who calls you after you get home from doing this show gets a dinner for two if they say they saw us on AZTV. How's that, Peter? Sounds like yeah, a deal. Dinner Sounds like a deal. Two. There we go. Peter Gepauer, <laughs> Watson Lake, and thanks for joining us. Thank Don't go you. away. Thank we'll you be right back us. on Sandy and Friends. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>